everyone, welcome back to our final video in this print PR PPC content series that we've been doing. This last video is a really good one. I have a lot of information to cover. Today we're talking about why small businesses should use Facebook advertising. Small businesses, aka chiropractors, and since that's a you, all of these tips are geared specifically for you. Um, if you're not already on Facebook advertising, I think it's a great opportunity for you specifically as a chiropractor, and I'll go through a number of the reasons why. Um, if you're already on Facebook advertising, maybe you'll see a couple ideas here that you hadn't thought of. Whatever the case, um, I have a lot to go through, so let's get started. My main bullet points here are reach, branding, interaction, and over here, simplicity. Um, the first one being reach is maybe one of the biggest ones that I'll spend the most time on. So when I say reach, it's referring to a number of different things. So, but most importantly, it's that there is a large audience on Facebook. You probably already know that. Almost everyone is on Facebook at this point, and certainly in the United States. Um, and since you're probably dealing uh, most often with people in the United States, Facebook is a great platform for reaching a target audience for your chiropractic practice. Um, so yes, you have this large audience that you're able to reach, um, but you can argue the same thing about Google Ads. However, the demographic information that comes along with Facebook advertising is spectacular. So if you want to target an athlete, you can do that. If you want to target somebody who's 25 to 27 years old, you can do that. If you want somebody who's more like 65 to 65 plus, you can do that as well. Also, a big one I've found for chiropractic practices is that you can set a perimeter around your office. So let's say you're located in one town, well then you can set your um, location to plus however many miles you want. So let's say it's plus 10 miles because beyond that are that many people driving that far to get to, an, to your office. Maybe, maybe not, depends on your audience. But with that, you know that you're hitting people that this ad is actually applicable to. Um, then, right along with that, are that your reach can spread organically um, because it is possible for someone to see your ad and then share it on his or her own Facebook page, thus expanding your reach exponentially. So then, somebody might see that ad and then share it again and your web grows. Um, so that's another kind of an auxiliary benefit but a benefit nonetheless. Um, also these ads are easy to watch so you're probably going on Facebook throughout the day. Facebook gives you notifications as to how your ads are doing and you have your ad manager right there on your dashboard while you're already in Facebook. So it's all really easy to get to and very easy to monitor. And as we've mentioned in some of the other videos, specifically, I believe I mentioned it with um, making successful Google AdWords, you paying attention to how your ads are doing is the number one way to make sure you're not wasting your money. So what's nice about Facebook is that you're probably already familiar with um, your platform on Facebook more or less. The ad campaign side might be a little different, but it's not all that different from your Facebook, your front facing Facebook side to begin with. Um, and so there's less of a learning curve as you get into Facebook advertising. And lastly, Facebook ads are very cost effective. Um, to summarize in one sentence, that would be the sentence. So they are cost effective. So you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to reach your local people. Um, you can cap how many people your ads are getting out to. Um, you can cap a budget per day, per month, or per the whole campaign, however you want to set it up. 
Um, and that way you know that you're not spending more than you should be or can be. Okay, that covers reach. Uh, let's move down to branding. So the big thing for ads on Facebook is that you are not locked into a certain type of ad and this is what you have to use. Um, in recent years, we'll say, Facebook has really expanded the number of kinds of ads you can have. Just, I want to say it's just in the last couple months Facebook added even the slideshow option. So now you can take, let's say you don't want to do a video, but you know videos perform really well. Now you can do this slideshow where you just upload a bunch of photos from your office or stock photography, whatever you're going to use, and then they'll operate kind of like a carousel where it, they rotate through like it's a video. So that's a new, new feature that Facebook has, just in the definitely in the last year. So there's always options for you to explore, to try new ways, and to see what works best for your audience. Again, I hammer this in every time: testing, 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 so that you can see what's working the best and um, switch it up if it's not working. Um, so. The other big piece is with branding is that you are able to um, use your own colors, your own logo. Um, if you don't have good versions of that, contact us, work with or work with someone else who can get you the high res imagery that you need um, because that's very important for looking credible. Um, yeah, so customize, you're able to customize your ads to say exactly what you want them to say. You're able to customize the format of the ad. Um, you're also able to customize where you send people, um, your CTAs, which I'll talk about here. Um, next, coming up, is all your CTAs are customizable and then where you send people, whether it's to your website or to a landing page or to your Facebook page, all customizable. So you have a lot of options which is great, but maybe a little overwhelming. And that's why sometimes you would work with someone like Kyrobox. Um, <laughs> shameless plug. Uh, okay, so now let's go on to interaction. So <clears throat> that's the other big part of Facebook ads is that people could be interacting with them without um, them even noticing. Um, the, we are big fans of the ads that appear in line in a news feed. They have those right sidebar ads on uh, that are still running, and it doesn't it doesn't hurt to have anything there because if somebody clicks on it, then great you can send them to your landing page or your website, and if they don't click on it, you're not paying for it anyway. But it's much more effective to use these inline newsfeed ads because people don't even know that they're ads. It says sponsored at the top, but if someone is just scrolling down their news feed, they might not notice. And that is why the imagery that you choose is very important, and so is the copy that you choose to accompany the ad, because that's what's going to catch someone's attention. And you, the goal is, as someone's mindlessly scrolling down the page, that your ad catches their attention. So um, this is where relevant calls to action really come into play because even once you've caught their attention, you want to make sure that, th that they know what you want them to do next and that it's easy for them to do so. So usually on a Facebook ad, there's multiple different ways that they can click. So they could click to a link on the ad, they could click the button um, that is that Facebook calls the CTA, um, they can click to your page. So all of those are different forms that a user could take of interacting with your ad. Um, but you want to make sure that at the minimum you're sending them to places where it would be valuable to you. So maybe your CTA, that button is a call and they click to call. Maybe it's visit our website. Maybe it's sign up for an appointment here. Or maybe it's just learn more about chiropractic if you want more of a low key CTA. So you can decide what CTA to select, but make sure that it correlates to the ad itself. Uh, you can also take an ask question. So one thing about Facebook advertising is that there is a little bit of that organic element to it because um, as we were talking about before with reach, if somebody shares your ad, uh, that ads 
life is expanded, someone can ask questions, and you should be checking in and responding to those questions. Um, if, if, you should always respond, there's no if. <laughs> um, this also, I, okay, this also relates to boosted ads. I like to set up ads as ad campaigns because I find them easier to track and to make sure that you're hitting the goals that you want to be hitting with your ads. However, those boosted posts, with which Facebook is all about, they're always telling me with the ad accounts that I'm man managing to boost this post, it's performing really well. Yes, you can just boost random posts that are doing really well. And that is a good way to get more of this kind of organic interaction, organic and inorganic because you boosted it, but now, so it's showing to more people, but now these people are commenting and you are able to comment back to them or message them or um, what have you. So that's a good opportunity to just raise interaction overall. Um, also, you can use your ads to for giveaways and freebies, which in our experience always leads to more interaction because people love free, um, as you yourself probably look like. So um, one easy one is a free consultation, uh, a free first visit, free x-rays, something like that, that'll probably get attention and will probably lead to more interaction. However, be careful because you do want to get a quality lead and not someone that's just in it for the free stuff. Okay, going down to simplicity, our last big tip here. I've kind of already mentioned how the ads appear in the newsfeed, so your user is not getting information overload where they've learned to tune things out, which has kind of happened on Google and a lot of ads that show up across the Google Display Network. Um, you've kind of learned to tune out those ads that appear on the right sidebar. But in Facebook, because it's inline, that hasn't quite happened yet. Uh, that might change, but we'll keep you posted. Um, also, ads are very easy to use. Again, I kind of talked about that, that the platform, you're basically used to it already. It's, Facebook wants the average user to be able to set up ads, and that's you. So it, it's built with the simplicity so that someone who's not in marketing like we are is able to hop on and create ads fairly easily, like a one, two, three, four, five, we'll say five quick steps. Um, and then also the ads are easy to schedule. So if you are going on vacation, you can pause the ads, you can set them to only run while you're gone because you're not able to be there posting frequently. Um, there's various different things that you can do to, again, add some customization to make it easier on yourself as a chiropractor who's marketing and running a chiropractic business. And for all these reasons, um, this is why you should be using Facebook advertising. If I had to summarize my top three, I would say because it's easy to implement and easy to get the hang of, and they are cost efficient, and the demographics. Those three main things are why Facebook is a really good option right now. You're able to reach who you want fairly easily and at a low price. So, if you're not on Facebook advertising, uh, we can definitely get you started. I will leave our contact details on the screen here and in the description box. And so you can click to chiromox.com very easily. Otherwise, I think I've covered this topic. We've definitely talked a lot about Facebook advertising, Google advertising, online advertising in general in this content series. So head to chiromox.com backslash blog if you want to catch up on all that topic. Otherwise, we'll be coming back with a new video series um, next week. So stay tuned. In the meantime, take care. Bye.